Welcome to the Motivational Story Series Part 5. In this episode, I would like to cover a story titled Mr. Bean. Once a daughter complains to her father saying that she is very much frustrated with her life. She is facing many adversities and she is unable to overcome them. The moment she faces or solves one problem, the other problem follows. Her father being a chef takes her to a kitchen. He selects three pots, fills them up with water and then he takes three different ingredients and places them in three respective pots. In the first pot he places potatoes, in the second pot he places eggs and in the third one he places ground coffee beans. And he places them on a burner and allows them to boil for 20 minutes. In the meantime the daughter gets frustrated. She has been waiting for her father's reply and at the end of the boiling of those ingredients that is at the end of 20 minutes her father replies saying that daughter just touch the potatoes eggs and just let me know how do you feel the daughter promptly responds by saying that yes the potatoes are very soft however the eggs which were brittle initially are now a bit harder now the, per, now the dad pours the coffee into a cup and asks her daughter to have a sip of it. The aroma of coffee itself excites the daughter. She feels really very happy and puts up a broad smile on her face. So what is all this dad asks her daughter and the father replies. Initially the potatoes are very hard and unyielding but the moment they are placed in hot water they became soft. Eggs on the other hand were brittle initially but they became hard when they are boiled. But when coffee beans are added to boiling water they change the entire aroma of water. So initially potatoes, eggs as well as ground coffee beans are subjected to same adversity that is the boiling water. But what made the difference is the fact that how they responded. So in life, when we face many adversities, we often face many adversities happening around us, happening to us. But what really matters is what's happening within us. So which one are you?